It's important. You know how some people can't stand nails scratching on a chalkboard? That's just how I feel about this being so messy. Your little ASMR. I mean, I'm a mature woman, okay? So I'm not expecting a miracle. This is some strong stuff, okay? And this stuff works. I want the product to be on the skin and in the skin, you feel me? Girl, good evening. Let's do some skincare. First, of course, we need to do our dental hygiene routine because that's a huge part of all of this. I mean, I love to share it because it's important. It's important to not just take care of the face, but let's eat too, you feel me? So let's do that first. First, we're gonna floss, brush our teeth using this Colgate Optic White toothpaste and then tongue scraper, mouthwash, and then we're ready. Okay, let's do this routine in five steps. I'm <laughs> doing my best to make sure that this is consolidated for all the girlies who just feel like it's just too much to think about in the beginning, okay? So first lashes are off, thank God they didn't hurt too much to just pull them things out. So we gotta break down the makeup. I was gonna use the Fenty cleansing balm, but I can't find the actual one that I have and the other one's in my suitcase. So let's use this one from Pharmacy. It's a green clean makeup melts away cleansing balm. I've used this 18,000 times in the past and I enjoy it. I like to use a cleansing balm first to break down the makeup and then I go in with the cleanser. I always emphasize that because I just want to make sure that you understand that there's a cleansing balm and a cleanser, okay? So rubbing this in and I used to hate this process because it's so messy and if you know me I just it's just gross it doesn't gross me out it's uncomfortable you know how some people can't stand nails scratching on a chalkboard that's just how I feel about this being so messy but we need to break it all down and this just feels like an oil on the skin see how it goes from a solid ish type substance and then now it's melted it's gonna melt all the makeup get in that hairline because you know we did the contour unless you don't contour but still like get up in there get the chin you feel me i am gonna shower so i'll get my neck and all that stuff but we're doing this here in the mirror for you first now we're gonna add some water to emulsify all of this and further break down the makeup. Okay, mind frame, I can't tell, but wet hands. <laughs> I can't even see, I hate this. <laughs> anyway, you get the idea. Most of the makeup is off, but obviously we need to actually wash our face. So here is the Thayer's pH Balancing Daily Cleanser. This I love, cause it's a jelly. It's like egg yolk, how gentle it is and a little ASMR. I must wash the face. Nice gentle cleanser. I don't always use a cleanser that has BHA and or AHA in it, which are exfoliating properties. I don't always use those because I don't always need that, you feel me? I'm just gonna go with something gentle, which is normally what I'll use. I am gonna do a, an exfoliating serum tonight, so no need to double do it with an exfoliating cleanser. I could if I felt like it, but I just didn't. Okay, so you do have options depending on what your skin can tolerate, but you definitely wanna make sure that you are working this into the face especially around the eyes, which is where I tend to have lash glue and mascara and liner left over, okay? And then let's rinse this off. I left my face a little bit damp because I don't want it to get dry. I'm gonna use the Sunday Riley Auto Correct Eye Cream. One pump of that on the ring fingers and go right underneath. And of course, right on top of the eye. But let's get this right in the corners of the eye, which is where I have fine lines. And then underneath, it's not gonna be a miracle, right? It's not gonna take them away completely, but certainly soften them and just lessen the speed at which these fine lines progress. I mean, I'm a mature woman, okay? So I'm not expecting a miracle. And then I'm gonna use the Sunday Riley Good Jeans All-in-One Lactic Acid Treatment. This is some strong stuff, okay? I'm gonna take two pumps of this, okay? We're gonna go on the face being very careful not to get the mouth, the brows, <laughs> cause this is an exfoliating serum. It's a leave-on treatment. I used to use this years ago and I just forgot about it. And then recently I'm like, wait, I remember this thing being really stinking good. Now notice how I did not put anything on my face before this so it's really gonna work and my face is damp allowing it to penetrate easier faster 
But if you feel concerned about this, maybe giving you some kind of reaction if you have sensitive skin, then certainly buffer this with another serum or put this on perhaps after your moisturizer. I don't know how that will work. I've only done it right on the skin like this and this stuff works. I mean, you wake up like, oh, my skin is so smooth, you know? It just melts away the dead skin. And you can do this a few times a week as long as your skin can tolerate it. I'm going right down the middle. I don't wanna mess up my microblading, okay? Also, do not get this on the lips. <laughs> this stuff works. I'm telling you, it works. And then the last step is a moisturizer. Yes, you can go and use Petroleum Jelly. Vaseline is a brand that, you know, sells and makes petroleum jelly. I'm gonna use this Youth to the People Super Berry Hydrate and Glow Dream Mask. <laughs> this has been really good. I like how rich this is and it really nourishes the skin. I've used this by itself on nights where I didn't feel like doing all of this, you feel me? And I woke up with my skin feeling dewy like i could touch my face and still feel the product so this is good it sits on the skin it absorbs in the skin too but it sits on it as well i like both i want the product to be on the skin and in the skin you feel me and i did use an ample amount especially since i am exfoliating with that serum i really want to pack this on okay that's how i like to prep my skin for the bed. All the more reason to make sure that when you're sleeping, you're not rubbing your face on that pillow, honey. You got too much going on, all right? All right, and that's it. I'm off to bed and I'll wake up with smoother skin than I went to sleep with. So hope that you enjoyed that really quick five-step evening skincare routine. I'll leave two videos, pick one to watch after this one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.